Hello guys, today I wanted to talk about how to play an elf. So if you want to play an elf, the first thing you have to do is you write down your character sheet in the race section, you put down elf, and then you note down the different stat bonus you get. And don't forget to write down that you get infravision or dark vision, depending on the system you, you play. And if you have other bonus like um, you need to sleep or to ghoul paralysis, and then you're good to go. You you can play an elf like that. You need to do nothing more, unless you want to your elf to be more than just a human with pointy ear. In that case, you might want to think about a little more about what it means to be an elf. So, what are the basic the basic tropes that are commonly accepted in elves? Well, they are long live. They live in pro in close proximity to nature. They are dexterous and slender. And we don't usually see elves do farming on, or herding. So we just assume that they get their food straight from the forest. They can have like lush gardens and stuff like that, but never really filled. And so either they get like very, they need very little, little nutrition, or they are some kind of like hunter gatherer culture. Yet we also don't usually see them as nomad. So. And hunter gatherer tend to be no nomad, so may maybe they just uh, need very little food to survive. Maybe that is uh, illustrated in, Tol in Tolkien's work with the elvish bread that sustain you for all day with a very small portion. Elves are so uh, not traditionally seen as very industrious. They can be amazing craftsmen, but they won't produce a lot. They will be more about quality over quantity. And I guess this in back to the long life as well, and the living in harmony with nature. Making a tool that you will use for hundreds of years makes sense when you're going to live for thousands. And if you're going to live with a tool for so long, you probably want to make it beautiful and manufacture it to the highest quality possible. So, so what if making a tool takes you a month instead of a few days? Maybe that's even a feature, not a bug for an elf, because you have to do something with all the time you have. This uh, living so long and also implies some form of a resistance to change. And we are all resistant to change to some extent. We have a, a saying, there's a saying in science that say, old scientists don't change their mind, they die. But what if they didn't? Would that bring like some kind of a stagnation in the culture? You know, like the, the kind of mindset of, uh, oh, we've been doing things in a certain way for thousands of years and we don't see a reason to change. And usually in fantasy world, uh, everything are, uh, every, every species uh, is rel relatively like fairly stagnant to begin with. Humans are often seen as the new race on the block and they are the one bringing about change. In the Tolkien trope of the time of the elves being over and now being times of the men, the time of men coming up. But elves are often like seen to be to be in the world for uh, much longer than human have been. And their culture didn't, didn't evolve past a certain point. And we can kind of see that in nature with species that haven't evolved for a million years, like shark. And usually it's because they had no need to evolve. They are perfectly adapted to the environment. And this could be said with the elves as well, with their balance with nature and their low need of resource. But elves are sapient beings, unlike shark. And also shark individually don't live for that long. So what would an elf do with all this time? I guess maybe this is where, why we, we could see them go adventuring. And maybe this is where like a player character comes in. I think most PC elf should be fairly young. The uh, adventuring for elves should be some kind of like folly of youth. You know? When they are, uh, when they have been in their community for a while, they get a bit bored and they want to see the world. They, so they start traveling, a kind of like a wanderlust. It's always a good thing to think about what motivates your character. But I think it's especially important with demi-humans, unless you treat them just like human with different appearance. And with elves, it wouldn't make sense that they would be uh, intrinsically curious and adventurous, always looking for the new. It doesn't fit with the long-lived race, or at least not with the noble one, because at some point, 
you run out of new things to experience. And then they would end up like the Eldar in 40k. They would become hyper decadent and degenerate. And it would lead to their perdition. No. If you have a long lived race with a long history of things being the same, there must be some kind of hyper traditionalism going on. So, adventurers' elf should be seen as weird by other elf. Or, like I said, something you do in your youth. But th when uh, an elf PC would meet with older elves, those last ones should enc be encouraging them to uh, wise up and go back to their people. Or maybe they would have the attitude of uh, let's kids be kids. Maybe they did go on adventure when they were younger themselves and and what kind of a what they maybe they, they would have a look back on their on, on the the time they had on the road. What kind of view would it have on that? Especially if the the time they they spent mingling with humans. Maybe they befriended some humans, but then a few decades later, those were dead. The blink of an eye is for an elf. And that is something that would uh, impact how elves would interact with other species. It would probably make them want to keep a distance. It is even worthwhile. Is it even worthwhile to get to know a human? You know, by the time you get to know him, they already dead. Or they are always changing. How can you know a human? You know, you met him when he's 20. The next time you see him, a few moments later for an elf, he is in his 30, a completely different person. And the next time you come around, he is in his 50, and then he dies. And also, for you, you might see, you might think that seeing him every decade, seeing somebody every decade is seeing him fairly often. But for him, you're, you're seeing him, you somebody he sees once in every 10 years. So it doesn't give the same importance for, uh, for both... Uh, in the relationship on both sides. So there's something to uh, consider, you know, like what would be the point for an elf to interact with a human? So I think elf PC should be all kind of young and unexperimented. And because elf life is so long, they presumably have a very low fertility rate if they have one at all. So an elf life would be seen as a very precious by its peer. So yeah, I think adventuring just for the sake of it would be frowned upon. Especially if uh, an urban society is so well balanced with nature. You know, human can be can can go adventuring to strike riches and because we have to work hard to extract the resource we need, it kind of makes sense. But for an elf, not so much. So yeah, older elves would probably like discourage younger one from risking their life. Adventuring would be seen as uh, like eating Tide Pods. So if you want to play an elf as a PC, you would be already be a, a typical kind of elf, a special kind of elf, the eating Tide Pod kind of special maybe. Or maybe in the setting, there's something normal for young elves to go spend some time in the world, like some kind of a, a rum springer. You know, when the Amish uh, young adult uh, come to a certain age, they go live in normal society for a while before deciding if they want to come back and get baptized in the community or live for good. And maybe the the elf would do the same thing. Maybe the elves could have the, a lot to do with the Amish in, in your setting, minus the farming. You know, they're both skeptical of new technological advancement. The Amish, they don't like la labor saver saving device because they leave more free time for people to commit sin. It's the whole like uh, idle hands or the devil plating mindset. Maybe elves have the same view. Maybe they know that if they embrace technology, they will end up with like the, they will end up like the Eldars that I mentioned earlier. Maybe if you're designing your world and you're thinking about how elven culture is, maybe looking at the Amish is a good idea because both are in a way locked outside of time. You know, and the Amish are known for their beard, which elves don't traditionally have. But the Amish only grow their beards once they get they are married. Maybe you could have a similar thing with the elves and their long hair. Maybe they keep them short or braided before they get married, and then they get the long flowy hair once they're married. But then, do elves even get married? I guess that comes back to the point of uh, if elves have children, if you make your elves straight up immortal, Maybe they were all there from the beginning of time and now their number dwindled because they cannot reproduce. 
but that means you cannot play a young elf. And in that case, it's even more suspicious that an elf would go adventuring. Or maybe the elves could reproduce when, but when they were younger. But with the impression that they had all the time in the world, most of them waited too long before having children, and then they realized they were infertile. Like, kind of like a, what the modern women do nowadays, like when they finally get ready to settle down and have children when they're 40. What if elf went to such a crisis? Maybe a young elf is a, is, is, would be possible, but it would be quite rare. And the, other, the older elves would uh, be even more discouraging from them to go adventuring. Unless they are petty like modern women are. And they, would, they want to share the misery and just telling them like, oh, don't rush it. You have plenty of time. The right person will show up when the timing is right, when you're ready. And all kinds of stuff, kind of uh, bullshit. But that doesn't really feel elvish to me. So I would assume they would try to push the duty and the don't make the same mistake as I made angle. One thing that I would uh, say wouldn't make sense in a traditional fantasy setting are elves, shopkeepers, and cities. If you want to have elves living in your city, it should always be in a transient way. They are just passing by. But passing by for an elf could be a few years, but they're not trying to make a living there. They're not like building a life. So... This video was a bit inspired by a, a conversation I had with Shadow, uh, Channel Shadow and Son last week. I'll put the link in the description below. In the in this conversation, we touch a bit about uh, race as class, and I was saying how I think race as class can make sense because if you play a demi-human, you play a specific type already, and yeah, the class might just say elf, but it's like a young kind of teenager elf that goes out in the world. So elf society probably have all kind of various people, like they, but they are and they remain in elven society. The, the great magic user and the top tier fighter and the priest or the druid, they don't go uh, gallivanting anymore. This is something you do before you get into serious life. Unless you have a specific goal to accomplish, like Legolas joining the Fellowship of the Ring. There is an emergency that forces him out of Elvendom. And yeah, Legolas wouldn't be a level 1 character either. So I guess you could do that as well. If you want to play an older elf that has been around for hundreds of years, that could work in a one shot. You have a specific quest that you, that you are joining on. And you would probably be higher level than everybody else. But if you do a regular campaign, I think it's better to play a young elf. And there's also a problem with uh, elf characters who level up at the same rate as human and other short-lived race. Especially in a modern style game where character would go from level 5 to 20 in 2 months in game time. Imagine an elf going from being a level 1 wizard to a level 20 in a few months or even a few years. Then why wouldn't every elf do that? And then what? What do you do after this? Like, what do you do after that? Do you, uh, for the thousands of years you have left, don't you do make any other kind of self improvement? So maybe race as class didn't make more sense in a way. Anyway, that's uh, one I wanted, what I wanted to talk about, and I guess it just come out of some uh, random thought about how to portray elves and stuff to consider, and I hope it gave you something to think about. Tell me about uh, what all what you think about all this down below, and how you like to your elf to be portrayed in the end. The how, do, how you like to make them, and how do you make them different from human? Let's talk about that. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day and take care.